In my last video, I showed you how to configure a Cisco router with your home or office internet step by step. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to connect and configure the internet on a Cisco switch and a Cisco router step by step. If you haven't watched my previous video yet, I highly recommend checking it out first for a better understanding. The link is in the description below. First, let me show you my network topology. This is my last video topology, where I connected and configured my Cisco router with my home or office internet. And now, in this video, I am going to add a Cisco switch to the same topology. I'll connect the fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 port of my Cisco router to the gigabit Ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 24 port on the newly added Cisco switch. Then, I'll configure static IPs on these interfaces. Here's what I'll cover in this video. Creating VLANs. Configuring a DHCP server to assign IP addresses automatically. Configuring access ports on the Cisco switch. Setting up a static route and enabling IP routing on the Cisco switch. On the Cisco router side, I'll show you how to assign a DNS server, configure a static route for internet connectivity, and set up an access control list. Finally, we'll test the internet service on VLAN 20 by connecting a laptop to the Cisco switch. And in my next video, I'll be adding and configuring a Hikevision NVR and Hikevision IP cameras to this network. So, watch this video till the end, and don't forget to check out my next video. Now let's get started and do our physical activity first. I will connect one end of my network cable to the fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 port on the back side of my Cisco router. The second end of this network cable, I'll connect to the gigabit Ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 24 port on my Cisco switch. I will configure my Cisco switch first. For that, I'll connect my console cable to the console port of my Cisco switch. After connecting the console cable, press enter a couple of times, and then type the command, enable and press enter. Now we are in enable mode. To go to global config mode, I type the command, config terminal and press enter. First, we will change the Cisco switch name. By default, its name is switch. To change the Cisco switch name, I type the command, host name, followed by the new name for this Cisco switch. I type lab switch and press enter. And here you can see the switch name changes from switch to lab switch. Now let's establish communication between the Cisco switch and the Cisco router by assigning static IPs to their interfaces. First, I will assign a static IP to my Cisco switch interface. For that, I type the command interface gigabit ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 24 and press enter. Now first, I make this port a rooted port. For that, I type the command, no switch port and press enter. Now we can assign the static IP to this port. For that, I type IP address 10.0.1.2 and the subnet mask 255.255.255.252, then press enter. Here, we have successfully assigned the static IP to this interface. Now I exit from here. Next, we need to assign the static IP address to the fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 port on the router side. For that, first, I remove the console cable from my Cisco switch console port and connect it to the Cisco router console port. After pressing enter a couple of times, I type the command, enable and press enter. Then, I type config terminal and press enter. Now, I select the router interface connected to my Cisco switch, which is fast ethernet 0 slash 1, and press enter. Next, I assign a static IP address to this interface by typing IP address 10.0.1.1 and the subnet mask 255.255.255.252, then press enter. To enable NAT on this port, I type IP NAT inside and press enter. By default, the router ports are in a shutdown state. To activate this port, I type no shutdown and press enter. That's it. Then I exit and exit again. To verify connectivity between my Cisco switch and Cisco router, let's ping the Cisco switch IP address from the router side. For that, I type the command, ping 10.0.1.2 and press enter. Here you can see, we can successfully ping our Cisco switch from the Cisco router. Now let's connect our console cable back to the Cisco switch and continue with the remaining configuration. Here, I press enter a couple of times and then, First, I'll show you how to create a VLAN on a Cisco switch. For that, I type the command VLAN 20 and press enter. Next, I'll assign a name to this VLAN. To do that, I type 
name, and let's assign the name data to this VLAN. Then I press enter. Now VLAN 20 has been successfully created and named data. Then I exit. Now let's assign a gateway IP address to this VLAN. For this, I go into the VLAN interface configuration mode by typing interface VLAN 20 and press enter. Next, I assign the gateway IP address to this VLAN by typing IP address 10.0.20.254. I choose the last IP address as the gateway and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. Then I press enter. Finally, I exit. With this, we've successfully created VLAN 20 and configured it with a gateway IP address. The VLAN is now ready to use. Now let me show you how to configure a DHCP server or DHCP pool on a Cisco switch. For that, I type the command IP DHCP pool. And here, you need to give the name to this pool. I type VLAN 20 and press enter. Next, I define the network range for this DHCP pool. To do that, I type network 10. Dot zero dot twenty dot zero and the subnet mask is two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero and press enter. Now I need to provide the default gateway for this network. Default router ten dot zero dot twenty dot two five four and press enter. This is the gateway IP address we assigned earlier to VLAN twenty. Finally, I configure the DNS server for this DHCP pool. For that, I type DNS server 8.8.8.84.2.2.2 and press enter. These are free public DNS servers provided by Google. Once all settings are configured, I type exit to leave the DHCP configuration mode. We've successfully created a DHCP server for VLAN 20 on this Cisco switch. Now I'll create another VLAN, VLAN 40 specifically for our CCTV network as per our network topology. To configure VLAN 40, I start by typing VLAN 40 and press enter. VLAN 40 is now created. Next, I assign a name to this VLAN to indicate it's for the CCTV network. For that, I type name to CCTV and press enter. This sets the name of VLAN 40 to CCTV. After that, I type exit and press enter. Now it's time to assign an IP address to VLAN 40. For this, I enter the VLAN interface configuration mode by typing interface VLAN 40 and press enter. Then I assign the gateway IP address for VLAN 40 by typing IP address 10.0.40.254 and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. And press enter. This sets the last IP address in the subnet as the gateway for VLAN 40. Finally, I type exit to leave the interface configuration mode. For VLAN 40, I won't create a DHCP server. All IP cameras and the NVR in this VLAN will use static IP addresses, which I'll show you in the next video. Now let me show you how to configure access ports on a Cisco switch step by step. To configure the first 10 ports as access ports for VLAN 20, I use the range command. I type interface range gigabit ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 1 dash 10 and press enter. Now to configure these ports as access ports, I type switch port mode access and press enter. Next, I assign these ports to VLAN 20 by typing switch port access VLAN 20 and press enter. Finally, I type exit to leave the interface configuration mode. Now the first 10 ports are successfully assigned to VLAN 20 as access ports. Next, let's configure access ports for VLAN 40. To assign ports 11 through 20, I type interface range gigabit ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 11 dash 20 and press enter. Then I type switch port mode access and press enter to set these ports to access mode. After that, I assign them to VLAN 40 by typing switch port access VLAN 40 and press enter. Finally, I type exit to leave the configuration mode. Now ports 11 through 20 are successfully assigned to VLAN 40 as access ports. Now I will show you how to see the VLANs on a Cisco switch. For that, we type the command show VLAN and press enter. Here, you can see VLAN 20 and VLAN 40 created successfully, and these ports are assigned to each VLAN.
Now let me show you how to configure a static route on a Cisco switch. This is an important step to ensure traffic is routed correctly to the internet. To configure the static route, I type the following command, IP root 0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
As you can see, our laptop automatically receives an IP address from the VLAN 20 DHCP server configured on the Cisco switch. Next, let's test the internet connection. I open the browser and here you can see, the internet is working perfectly on my laptop. In this video, we successfully configured a Cisco switch and Cisco router with my home internet. We also configured VLANs, DHCP, static routes, and natting, and everything is functioning as expected. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.